Jamal Khashoggi's killers carried syringes, electroshock devices and cutting tools as they left Istanbul, as captured by airport X-ray machines. Here's a summary of the article. Syringes, electroshock devices and a blade similar to a scalpel were among the tools carried by Jamal Khashoggi's alleged killers as they departed Istanbul after murdering the Washington Post journalist inside a Saudi consulate last month. The Turkish pro-government daily newspaper Sabah published photos purportedly showing tools carried by the 15-man Saudi hit squad as they left Istanbul aboard a private jet after allegedly murdering the Washington Post columnist. The leaked photos, along with a flurry of other leaks from recordings taken of the moments before, during, and after Khashoggi's murder, suggest a continued pressure on Saudi Arabia and its Western allies over the 2 October killing of the 59-year-old U.S. resident inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. The New York Times on Tuesday cited unnamed officials describing one member of the Saudi kill team being recorded phoning Riyadh after murdering Khashoggi and saying, Tell your boss, in a possible reference to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is widely suspected of ordering the hit. Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt on Tuesday became the first ranking UK official to meet with the Crown Prince since the Khashoggi murder in what was described as an attempt to encourage Riyadh to wrap up the three and a half year war it is leading in Yemen and to push for real accountability against those responsible for the brutal murder of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi, according to a statement. On Monday, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau disclosed that Ottawa intelligence officials had heard the recordings, while Germany's government spokesman acknowledged intelligence sharing between Ankara and Berlin on the Khashoggi matter, and a Turkish spokesman revealed the date that France was presented the recording and a transcript. Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan told reporters on his plane returning from Paris on Tuesday that Ankara had played the recordings for a Saudi intelligence official, who was shocked by its contents. This post received a score of 58,539, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So I'm not allowed to bring a small sunscreen bottle in my bags but electroshock devices are okay? Good to know. It is against diplomatic law to search a diplomatic package which is why they didn't search it. Although I thought that X-raying it was forbidden as well for the above reason. I've always thought the whole diplomatic immunity thing in other words, being above the law was stupid but I guess it exists for a reason, it's just that malicious people ruin it. Now imagine no diplomatic immunity and instead the diplomats are arrested and held captive until the other side gives in. While you can't necessarily arrest diplomats, a country can kick them out. The diplomat's country could waive diplomatic immunity if the diplomat committed a crime, but this rarely happens. The diplomat may be subject to their country's law, so if they are expelled, they could face charges at home. Yeah I understand there's a reason why it exists but it also seems like a system that can be abused. In theory, we only grant diplomatic immunity to countries that agree to punish heinous crimes. In practice, this doesn't really work out. But that's true for all parts of our justice system. Remember when the Swedes kidnapped and raped locals then ran away back to their kingdom to avoid punishment? How about that time Erdogan's mercenaries beat up a bunch of protesters? I just hope the intel we gather from these events was worth it. Greater than how about that time Erdogan's mercenaries beat up a bunch of protesters? They weren't covered by diplomatic immunity, DOJ just couldn't find the balls. It wasn't a matter of balls. The current administration just approved of Erdogan's men beating up the enemy of the people. Of course they brought their murder tools back with them. That shit's expensive. Like a chef. Their body of work is an art form. And the tools they use, are an extension of them that helps their craft. I want your blood to be my paint and your flesh my canvas. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. FTHPFTHPFTHPFTHPFTHP It's staggering how blatant this killing was. It's even more staggering how little of a reaction there has been from the rest of the world leaders. Greater than it's even more staggering how little of a reaction there has been from the rest of the world leaders. Is it? There are billions of dollars worth of oil and weapons involved, and the UN has been a joke for the past decade or so. The UN's hands are tied. I am tired of people blaming the UN. They can't do much against veto as well, all they can do is condemn the act. 
This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.